Welcome back to Life Rent. And that in the beginning was me taste trialing four of the most commonly available alkaline water uh, bottle brands at Whole Foods. I do have a whole aisle dedicated to water, whether it be spring water, um, regular or distilled water, but this is humanly infused alkaline water. And there are four different brands as you've seen in that little clip. The first one I'm gonna go with as number one is Essentia. The second one is True Alka. The third is Zen. And the fourth is their very own 365 brand. They're uh, humanly infused uh, water to help create the pH uh, to their desired liking, which is over a nine, 9.5. Um, but despite their alkalinity being basically the same, the smoothness of the water is a little bit different. So these two I would say are the smoothest. And the reason being is that they they process their water a little differently than these other two do. So the first two that I really like are processed with um, reverse osmosis. So purified water through reverse osmosis. And I'm not gonna go into technicalities with that, but just know that these are the more smooth ones. And if you need to find other brands, I would suggest going with um, reverse osmosis because um, they have the more smooth type water. And these ones over here, this is water, water distilled, and this doesn't even tell you um, how this is processed. So there's that. Yep, nope, it doesn't tell you. <laughs> um, benefits of alkaline water with, you could just Google this yourself. It says that it has potential anti-aging effects, um, hydration qualities, detoxifying and acid reflux benefits, but I could also argue against all of those, right? So potential anti-aging effects. I mean, you can take regular vitamins and or, or highly nutritious diet, sorry, <laughs> um, and still achieve those benefits, right? For hydration with their pro pros, it could be the drinkability because these ones are a little bit more smooth to go down. So people want to continue drinking water right, and hydrating themselves, but also at the chemical or molecular level of how like the water is retained in the cells itself. Um, that could be one of their arguing factors. For detoxifying, it would be the same thing on the molecular level. Let's say like how like, your kidneys filtrate water and how it retains it, right? Um, side effects of this would be nausea, metabolic alkalosis, and potential contaminants. And there's not really that much research, or that's what the, also the articles keep saying, that there's not enough research that's substantial, that's not subjective, right? It's all popular opinion. And as you may know in research, the lower hierarchical of this whole pyramid thing is that popular opinion is not always the best <laughs> um, in terms of, you know, like substantial research. But going back into the best tasting water, go for these two and not these two. And literally just do your own like droplets of um, those little tabs available for you, like at those hiking places, if you wanna add, or you can even just take Tums if you want more alkaline, but don't do it unless you speak to your doctor, of course. This is not at all medical advice. Um, just my subjective opinion on which ones are best tasting. So these two are the winners. This one is the winner. I've been a big fan of Essentia and I didn't notice that I, I like cared so much about Essentia or that much more until I found out with these two because I thought alkaline water was water. But um, true addicts for water know that not all water is created equal. Anyway, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know which water you guys have tried and which ones I should try. I could try even doing like a blind taste test um, just for fun. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.